So when we start a project, we have the pre-project phase, then we move from project initiation, in which we, we have the project charter, then we move to project planning, and first we do the WBS, then the scheduling, budget, human resource, then we move for procurement, risk assessment, communication, integration. We prepare the project plan. And once the project plan is approved, we move forward to the execution. And in the execution, the project manager will be controlling, monitoring the progress, make, make the change, clean up things until the project is finished. So that is uh, the journey. Uh, and let's now try to locate and just hold a sec where we can we use estimates in that project life cycle. First, let's understand, let's have a definition for project estimates. So, estimating is the process of forecasting or approximating the time and cost of completing project deliverable. So here two two keywords forecasting and approximating and that, so again it's forecasting it's about the future then the second point and that's a little bit usually people don't consider that too much but that's very important is the task of balancing expectations of stakeholders uh, regarding to the project so what do you think I mean by balancing expectations. Why we need to balance expectations for the team players? There is another product owner, CEO. Well, let's start with team players. What do you think? Customer, yes, but let's start with, then let's cover the other ones. Team players, people need to know when they will start doing a task so if you if you have a, a group of 10 people in a project so 10 people will be working a project but not all of them will be working the entire time in everything some some people will be focusing on one specific task other people will be focusing on other tasks and so and the person needs to know when i am expected to work on that task. So that is something that is important. For the customer, they need to know when the project will be delivered. What is the cost for the project? That's very important as well. So that aspect, and when you talk about uh, uh, project management, forecasting is critical for the planning, but the outcome will align expectations so people can plan themselves individually for the project tasks for the project delivery so that's a very important aspect of estimating one question for you in which step does the project manager estimate things so we now understand that you have to do several levels of estimates from the more macro rough estimates to more detailed estimates and usually we have to understand that at the beginning the estimates that you have to make be clear to your client that the estimate that you are giving at the pre-project phase may vary a lot i put here some numbers but that is just uh, uh, opinions depend on the area if you talk about a construction of a house the rough estimates will be maybe plus minus 10 percent if you talk about a new tech a project that's involved a new technology maybe the rough estimate at the beginning can be plus minus 70 80 percent so depend on the project things can 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 change but it's important to always talk to the customer. I, I'm giving you a half estimate. Once you get more details, we'll be adjusting that, the process. When you go for the project charter, now 
you are sitting with uh, the stakeholders and the stakeholders who can provide a better understanding of the task the stakeholders who are, who are require uh, listing the requirements and also the stakeholders that will be executing the project and so here you can still there is some because you don't have the list of tasks and so there is still some kind of variation but you can use you you you, you have to be aware of that when you sign a project charter and I worked in a company uh, in which they accept, so that's that's acceptable, up to 20% after the project chart. So they know that the, 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 the cost and duration can vary among that. That, that is a acceptable. If it's something more than 20%, uh, that was complicated. In other companies, because if you're a construction company, you cannot work with 20 percent maybe you have to work with uh, because construction is very well known the process and the execution and so should be less than that but again if you talk about technology uh, yesterday i heard that uh, tesla what's the name of the guy elon musk so that he will have a new battery in by by next year i believe and that guy has been very off of his estimates. But that's a new technology. There is so many variables. We understand that his estimate can vary plus minus 200%. Okay? So depend on the business. Once you move and you get your WBS, you have your work breakdown structure. You, you have your WBS dictionaries for each task each task you know in each task what are the resource you know what you know the duration you know the materials and that's the, the, those estimates can be accepted you have something around five percent to ten percent variation on the estimate so we, we here is important that we have different levels of estimates rough estimates top-down estimates and we call top-down estimate because a technique that we use uh, previous projects to do that estimate. And we'll be learning what is top-down uh, in a few minutes. Bottom-up is because you now you have the WBS and you, you can calculate the duration and resources and people and labor and uh, material for each task and then you can Add those things up and have the project. The top down, you start with the top of the project and you try to break down the costs in a certain pattern uh, so you can understand the, the estimates top down. But we'll be looking at that in a few seconds. So that's is from the book. That's from the book and uh, talking about, uh, I don't remember, I should have included the. the, the the page uh, and it's important here to understand that in the conceptual phase that is the pre-project phase things can vary a lot that's uh, bricks and mortar projects information technology project that is a lot of uh, can vary a lot then when you talk about deliverables the define that is usually in the project charter you, you refine your estimate when you have your work package or WBS dictionary work package is a terminology that was used on a PM block until a certain edition then they change for WBS dictionary but it's the same thing when I, everyone say a, a, a person say work package is the same thing as WBS dictionary and here you have a more precise but again in technology information technology things can vary a lot so you have that on chapter three uh, you can read that and, and, and understand Thanks. top down versus bottom up estimate top down estimates so usually there is for someone that has experience in a similar project before and so although the person doesn't have a knowledge about the, the project he can relate that project with a previous project 
and based on size, he can estimate the duration for the project. Once he estimates the duration for the project, he can break down those estimates for the major deliverables and the sub deliverables on the WBS. That is top, top down estimate. Bottom up estimates is something that once you finish your WBS, you have the work package and you have our uh, WBS dictionary, and you can uh, associate the cost and time of each work package. And then by adding up the cost, you move up and you, you get the cost for the project. I have some uh, visuals that uh, I'll, be, I'll be talking about. So usually we start with, uh, we'll be explaining that bottom up, top down uh, with more detail. So usually we start with rough estimates we use similar project. Ah, the guy said, I want a house with four bedrooms and 2,500 square feet. And if the project manager has a, uh, uh, the estimates for a house of 2,000 square feet, uh, you say, oh, from 2,000 square feet to 2,500 square feet, 500, that is 25% uh, increase. So he can, to estimate that the cost of that new house will be 1.25 times the cost of the previous house. That's our rough estimate. So you develop the WBS, and after the WBS, you can come and do the bottom-up estimate. You develop schedules and detail budgets, and here we'll be doing that in Chapter 6 and Chapter 8. And then you have to reconcile the difference. Because you told your client at the beginning the rough and the top down estimates on the Porter Charter. And now, after WBS, you have a more detail, and probably the numbers will be quite different. Quite different, okay? And now you have to reconcile and understand and explain why. <laughs> that's it. that's a, usually a tough task for the project manager. But you have to reconcile the differences. 